Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our virtual Mishtabur here. We're holding Mishtabur Chalak Aleph, and we'll be learning today, Mitz Hashem, Daf Kuf Mem Gimel Amid Beis, and I hope Kuf Mem Dalit Amid Aleph as well. Let's try to catch up a little bit, especially going into the Pesach season. Again, I apologize for the absences, but it's really just been beyond my control. There's nothing I can do. Again, I, I think people who have been listening to the Shir for a long time know that I try my hardest and I really try my best to stay on top of it. This is very much an aberration from what's been normal for the history of the Shir, and hopefully we will get back on track without any of these interruptions at all. With uh, having said that, we are in the middle of learning Hilchas Tefillah. We're learning the halachas of different parts of Shemayin Ezrei. We pick up today in Kuf Bem Gimel Amid Beis with a new simon, simon Kuf Yud Zayin, Dine Berkas Hashanim. One second, am I right? No, 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 let me correct that. Let's go back to Kuf Bem Gimel Amid Aleph. I actually skipped a little bit by mistake here. Let's go back to Kuf Bem Gimel Amid Aleph, the bottom of Kuf Bem Gimel Amid Aleph, Simon Kuf Tez Zayin, Pirish Berkas Rifa'enu, the explanation, the pirush of the bracha of Rafainu Hashem the Rafe in Shman Yisrael Echad. Here we have one sif. Says the Mechaber, Rafainu Hashem the Rafe. We ask the Rabbi Nishalaylam, Rafainu Hashem, Hashem, you should heal us the Rafe, and we will be cured. Afal gav da kosev liyachid ein mechanin oisay l'rabim. Even though the rule is that when we have a pasuk somewhere in Tanakh. And the Pasuk is written, Balashin Yachid, the Pasuk is written in the singular. We are not allowed to change it to Lashin Rabim. Hanimili Bizban Shemiskavin Likrois. That's only when the reason we're saying the Pasuk is because we want to learn the Pasuk, we want to quote the Pasuk, then we have to say the Pasuk the way it is. However, when what we're doing is we're using the Pasuk to provide us with a nusach for our tefillah and our bakasha to the Rabbi Shalaylam, then, says the Mechaber, then mutter, then we are allowed to adjust and modify the Pasuk and change it from a Lashen Yachid to a Lashen Rabbim. There's always a beautiful vart that I like to quote from the Rishiva Zatzal, from Rav Moshe, Zechit Tzadik Kaddish Levracha, on this topic. He points out that in the Yemei Slichais, we say over and over again in Shema Kilenu, we say, Al tashlichenu milfanecha. We ask the Rabbi Nishalaylam, he should not cast us from before him. V'ruach kachacha, and we ask the Rabbi Nishalaylam, your ruach hakodesh al tikach mimenu. You should not take it away from us. So our tefillah, our bakasha, is stated, Belosh and Rabbim. We say it in the plural. The truth is that this is taken from a pasuk where David HaMelech said, Al tashlicheni milfanecha. David HaMelech asked the Rabbi Nishalaylam, don't cast me in the singular from before you. V'ruach kachach al tikach mimeni. Don't take ruach ha-kodesh away from me. So Rav Moshe used to ask, he said, David HaMelech had ruach ha-kodesh. So David HaMelech wants to say, V'ruach kachach al tikach mimeni. I understand. We, how are we saying that the Rav Hashem shouldn't take Rach HaKadosh away from us? Do we have Rach HaKadosh? But when Rav Moshe asked the question in Ishmuz, he prefaced it with this halacha. He prefaced it with the halacha, and he said, even though Chazal say that you're not allowed to change a posik from Lashen Yachid to Lashen Rabim, but he said, the Mechaber says, in Simen Kuf Zayin, the Mechaber says, that for tefillah and bakasha, you are allowed to modify the Pasuk. So we changed the Pasuk from Davan HaMelech's Lashen Yachid to our Lashen Rabim. We do that, Kedas HaMechaber, over here in Kuf Tezayin. But still, the Kasha, B'mkayma Medes, Davan HaMelech had Ruch HaKadosh. He could ask that the Rabbi Hashem shouldn't take away the Ruch HaKadosh. We, who don't seem to have Ruch HaKadosh, how do we ask the Rabbi Hashem not to take away Ruch HaKadosh from us? The Rishiva Zatzal answered, that the truth is, each and every one of us does have Ruach HaKadosh. A Yid has Kedusha as Yisrael. We all have the Kedusha of Bnei Avram Yitzchak V'Yakov. We have Kedusha as Yisrael. Part of Kedusha as Yisrael is Ruach HaKadosh. What does that mean, that we have Ruach HaKadosh? It means that when the Rabbi Hashem gave us Kedusha as Yisrael, he imbued us with a little seed 
of Rach HaKadosh. Now the question is, what do we do with it? Do we make it grow? Do we feed the Rach HaKadosh? Do we water it and fertilize it and make it grow? Or, chas v'chalila, do we starve it? Or, chas v'chalila, do we poison it? If you do mitzvahs, and Rishi Vazatzal said, if you do mitzvahs mit avarmkeit, if you do mitzvahs, and you do mitzvahs with kavana, and you do mitzvahs l'shma, you do a mitzvah because you want to be b'kayim rotzana b'irei, so then you feed the Ruach HaKadosh, and the Ruach HaKadosh could grow into what we call Ruach HaKadosh. <coughs> but if you starve the Ruach HaKadosh, if you do maybe mitzvahs, but you do a kalta mitzvah, you do cold <coughs> mitzvahs without any kavana, <coughs> then chas you could starve the Ruach HaKadosh. Or, chas you could poison the Ruach HaKadosh by doing averis. But in any case, so this is what the Mechaber says. The Mechaber says we could change the Pasuk. What Pasuk is he referring to? He's repos- referring to the Pasuk in Yirmiyo, Yud Zayin, Perik Yud Zayin, Pasuk Yud Dalit, where the Navi says, Rithaini Hashem, the, uh, the Navi asks the Rabbani Shalom, you should heal me, Ve'erafe, and I will be cured. Hashiyeni, save me, Ve'ivashaya, and I will be saved, Kisihi Lasi Atta, because you are my praise. <coughs> so the Navi said this tefillah, Balash and Yachid. We change it to Rafa Nu Hashem, Vene Rafa, Hashie Nu Vene Vashea. We change it to Lashid Rabim, and that's why the Machaba points out that we are allowed to do it because it is their tefillah Uba Kasha. Continues the Rama at the top of Kufbem Gimel Amid Beis, when we come back, nevertheless, having said this, Im Oimer Mizmer Shalem, let's say somebody is saying a complete capital of Tehillim, and he's saying it Derek Bakasha Utfila, also Lishanei Smilosh and Yochid Lerabim Oylehepech, in that case, if you're saying a complete capital, then you're not allowed to modify it, even if you are saying it Derek Tfila Ubakasha. Says the Mishnah go back to Kofmem Gimel Amad Alf Mishnah Ice cotton olive. Rifa'enu Hashem. Says the Chavetz Chaim, Velo Yoyma Rifa'enu Hashem Eloi Kenu, Vene Rafe. Don't say Rifa'enu Hashem Eloi Kenu. It's Rifa'enu Hashem, Vene Rafe. Ki Lishta de Krohu Kach. Because again, we are basing the Nusach of this Tfila on the words of the Navi in Yermio, and the Navi did not say Eloi Kenu. He said Rifa'enu Hashem. I wonder if part of that is because, like we all know, the shame of Elokeinu, Elokus, is a lotion of Din. And Hashem, Yudke Vavke, is a lotion of Rachemim. So maybe the Navi didn't want to um, mention the, the Midas HaDin. He wanted to stick with the Midas HaRachemim. Tzarek Laimar Choylei B'Tzerei Halamid L'Chavetz Chaim says that when we say the Nusach of the Bracha, we say Roifei Choylei Amo Yisrael, we should make sure to say Roifei Choylei with a Tzerei. Yesh Oymrim Shalom Yoymar Re'ei Nova Onyenu. The 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 Brachich by Nesrei before Rifeinu is the Brach of Geula Re'eva Onyenu Ve'riva Rivenu. So he brings down over here from the Marshal. That yesh oimrim shalo yoyma re'e na va'anyenu. We shouldn't put in the word na. Rak re'e va'anyenu. Ava l'amagin avram ve'el yorabo sh'ari g'daylum kasvu she'en lozaz ben aminik sh'oimrim re'e na va'anyenu. So over here we have two different nuschais and you could find that difference in the prevalent nuschais nowadays. Some have re'e na va'anyenu, some have re'e va'anyenu. Eyes cut and bays, the Bechaber brought down that generally the rule is that we're not allowed to modify a Pasuk from Lashon Yachit to Lashon Rabbim or vice versa. Ein mechanin, v'hu adin sh'ar shinoi. So to any other changes. <coughs> Kegoin, another example of a change. Min medaber ba'adoi le medaber benoichach. The difference between when you're speaking about yourself or you are addressing somebody that you are speaking to. Ice cotton gimel derech tefila. If you're saying if you're saying a pasuk derech tefila uba kasha, then the mechaber said you're allowed to make a modification. The yachal lehispal al chaylim mirifaenu. The chavetz chaim points out, and he brings this down from the El Yerabba, the Brikah Yosef, the Magid Gibayim, that you are allowed to insert in the bracha of rifaenu. You could be mispal for individual chaylim. The yachal lehispal al chaylim mirifaenu. The yomar, and you could say. Rifa na pliny ben plinus rifu shalema. You ask the rabbi nishalelam 
please cure Pliny Ben Plinus, so-and-so, the son of so-and-so, using his mother's name, Refua Shalema, with a complete Refua Besach Shar Chayla Yisrael, together and amongst the other Chaylam of Klal Yisrael. And the Mishnah points out an interesting thing. He says, Vahani Mili Shaloi Befanov, this that you have to mention the name of the Chayla is only if the Chayla is not present. Aval Befanov, ain't Sarach Lahaskir Shemai, but in front of the chayla, if the chayla is present when you're making this tefillah, then you do not have to mention the name. This is brought down from the Elia Rabbah, and it's based on a Gemara in Brachas. Ois Katan Dalid, the Ramah said that when you say a Mizmar Shalem, a complete capital, you're not allowed to make a modification to Yachid Rabim or vice versa, even if you're saying it to Tefillah u Bakasha. Ritzayna Loimar says the Chavetz Chaim, what the Ramo wants to say is, Afilu im Amarai derch tfila. Even if you are saying the Mizmar Shalim derch tfila u Bakasha, you're not allowed to make this modification. If you're not saying it derch tfila, Gam Lahaga Asar Afilu Pasuk Echad, the Rama would agree that to the Mechaber, that even if you're only saying one Pasuk, but if you're not doing it derch tfila u Bakasha, then also you are not allowed to make a change. Okay, now we pick up from where I thought we were up to originally. Semen kof yodzayin dinei berchas hashanim, the that apply to the bracha, berchas hashanim, barech aleinu hashem aloikeinu es hashanah hazais, ubay hei si'ifim, and here we have five si'ifim. Says the Mechaber, sif aleph. Berchas hashanim, the bracha of barech aleinu, tzarech loimer babi mais hagishamim v'sein tal umotar. During the rainy season, we have to be, we have to ask the Rabbeinu Shalalam for rain, and we say the same tal umatar. Since we started learning the halachas of Mashav Aruch and Goshem, and the same tal umatar, I've mentioned already several times, we refer to the mention of Mashav Aruch and Goshem in the brach of Tchias Amesim as being mazkir gevura is kishamim. We mentioned the Rabbeinu Shalalam's gevura, the Rabbeinu Shalalam's strength and power, and his ability to bring rain. When we refer to the same Talamat of Racha in Brichas Hashanim, we call it She'ela. That's when we are requesting and asking for rain. So, so the Mechaber brings down over here in Sif Aleph the Halacha that in the Bracha of Baruch Aleinu and Brichas Hashanim, during the rainy season, we have to be Shoyel Geshamim. We have to ask the Rabbi Shalalam for rain. When do we start doing this? What's considered the beginning of the rainy season? Says the Mechaber. In Chutz La'aretz, we start to be Shoyel Geshamim. Betvilas Arvis by Myriv Shal Yom Shishem Akar Tekufas Tishrei. Going into day 60 since the beginning of Tekufas Tishrei. The Yom HaTekufa Hu Bechlal HaShishim. The day of the, the first day of the Tekufa is day one of the 60. So day one of the 60 is the first day of the new Tekufa. And then, Myriv going into day 60, that's when we start saying, Visein Talamot Racha. Okay, what's going on over here? What is this Tekufas Tishrei? The simple explanation, the, the very low-level basic explanation of this is, the year is separated into four Tekufas, four different um, sets of time, what we call seasons. So the year is divided <coughs> into four seasons. <coughs> Tekufas Tishrei is the season that begins in the month of Tishrei. Every one of the uh, seasons that we have are comprised of 91 days and seven and a half hours. Uh, let me just check quickly. I think it's 91. 91, 91, 91. Bear with me one second. Yes, 91. So each season is divided into 91 days and seven and a half hours, uh, which when you multiply that by four, gives you a little bit over 365 because a year is, a solar year is not exactly 365 days. So the Tkufas Tishrei, the season that begins in Tishrei, so the first day of that Tkufa is day one, Myriv going into day 60 is when we start saying the Saint Talamot of Racha. That's the halacha in Chutzla Aretz. 
Negei Halacha Lamaisa for us on regular years, that would be Myriv, the Myriv, the night of December 4th, meaning Myriv, the night before December 5th. That's when we begin to say the Saint Tal Umatar Livracha. Says, continues the Mechaber, three lines down into Simon Kuf Yodzai in the middle of a line. That's in Chutz Laretz. Uberitz Yisrael and Eretz Yisrael, Maschil and Lishrael, Milel Shiva Bar Machedrin. In Eretz Yisrael, we have a different date. In Eretz Yisrael, we start saying the Saint Talamata Levracha earlier, when the night going into the seventh day of Chedrin, the Shayalin, and we continue to say the Saint Talamata Levracha. We continue to ask for rain. Ad Tfilos Hamincha Shel Erev Yom Tov Arishin Shel Pesach until Mincha and in 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 tol meaning including the last tefillah when we're going to say the Saint Talmud of Racha is Mincha Erev Yom Tov Pesach. When we sham ve'elach paiskin milishayel, after that we cease saying the Saint Talmud of Racha, and the end point of the Saint Talmud of Racha is the same in Chutz Laaretz and in Eretz Yisrael. Says the Mishnah Brayz Katan Aleph Hashanim Berchas Hashanim. Hanusach, the Chavetz Chaim points out that the proper Nusach, says the Chavetz Chaim, bringing this down for the Magad of Ram in the name of the Rosh and the Marshal, is the Sabenu Mituvecha. Baruch Aleinu Hashem Alekeinu Sashan Azois, Ves Kominais Vasalotaiva, the Saint Talmatal of Racha Apneo Adama, the Sabenu Mituvecha. So says the Chavetz Chaim over here, and that is what we would find in Nusach Ashkenaz nowadays. V'sabenu mituvecha. What do the words v'sabenu mituvecha mean? We're asking the Rabbi Shalalam, He should satisfy us from His goodness. Sabenu mituvecha from your toiv, from your goodness. However, continues the Chavetz Chaim. Obesider ha'ari kasev. In the Nusach Ari, we find it says v'sabenu mituva. Vesabenu mituva, mituva means from its goodness. What's the object? What's its? We're talking about Eretz Yisrael. Vesabenu mituva, you should satisfy us from the goodness of the land. Or in Chutzel Eretz, it wouldn't be Eretz Yisrael, it would be the goodness of the, whatever land we're in. We're asking that the produce of the land should be good and it should satisfy us. So two different ways of understanding the Nusach over here. Eyes cotton bays, but feel us arvis. We start saying the Saint Talamata by Myriv, the night Myriv going into day 60 after the beginning of the Tukufa. He sends us to the Bir Halacha. We're here with the Bir Halacha. He goes through over here some different shitas about <coughs> when exactly the Tukufa begins, where we count to 60, how exactly do we count it, me ace la ace or not. It's an interesting but a very technical beer alacha if you want to take a look at it. Ice cut and gimel. Shal yom shishim. Kaloimar. What does the Bechamim mean when he says, Myriv of the 60th day? Kaloimar. Betfilas arvish shemaschal yom shishim. The Myriv tfila that begins day 60 after the Tkufa. Vaz, and at that time, Yachriz hasham shlach rakadish kaidem atfila tal umotor. Says the Gabai, the Shamish should give a clap. After Chati Kaddish, before Shemayin Esrei by Mayrev, the Gabi should give a clap and he should announce Talamotar, Bechdei Shigei Duloi Marvisei Talamotar, so that everybody should know that it's time to be Shoel Gishamim. V'em loy hichriz, and how about if the Gabi forgets to make the announcement, Afa Pikein Yomru, still, Visei Talamotar should be said. I didn't have a chance to look into it, but I was wondering <coughs> exactly why there seems to be a little bit of a difference over here in the halacha of the announcement and whether you should say it without the announcement or not versus the halacha by Ma- that we learned by Mashiach Ruach HaMar Dagosha. Okay, Ice Cotton Dalid Hashishim. This is Marv going into day 60 after the beginning of the Tkufa. Kiloi Mar. Yom Shenafla Baya Tkufa. The first day of the Tkufa, Mechashvim Mechlal Hashishim, is considered the first of the 60 days. It is Cheshben as part of the 60. And this is true, even if the Tekufa starts in middle of the day, as long as Tekufas Tishrei is going to begin on that day, even if Tekufas Tishrei starts very late in the day, that is still considered day one. 
Ulaylam, and as a general rule, says the Chavetz Chaim, Shnei Yamim Bein HaTekufa LaHashe'ela, in the days of the week, there will be two days between, two-day differential, between which day the Tekufa began on and the day that you start saying the same Talamotar. For instance, says the Chavetz Chaim, De'im HaTekufa B'yayim Rishayin, if the first day of Tekufa's Tishrei was a Sunday, HaShe'ela B'tfilas Arvis HaShayacha L'yayim Ravi. So then, you're going to start saying the Saint Talamotar on Tuesday night. <clears throat> Uber Eretz Yisrael. In Eretz Yisrael, we have a different starting point. In Eretz Yisrael, we start saying the Saint Talamotar of Racha on the seventh day of Mar Chedron. Explains the Chavetz Chaim, because Eretz Yisrael needs more rain. Then Chutz Laaretz, why? Because we know, Chazal tell us, how Eretz Yisrael is the highest of all the lands. So, since it's high, it needs more rain. It's not getting the rain from the rivers and the streams, etc., etc. It's mital hashamayim yishtemayim. It gets water from the rain, so you need Geshem. you got to ask for Geshem. Masha ain't kein bagoyla. V'anu b'chal Chutz Laaretz, nowadays us, anywhere in Chutz Laaretz, Basar b'nei goyle de Bavel Ozlinon, we go after the rule brought down by Chazal, which is the rule quoted over here by the Mechaber, saying that in Chutz Laaretz we start on day 60 after the beginning of Tekufas Tishrei. That is a rule that applies to all Chutz Laaretz. We don't start weighing each land in Chutz Laaretz how much rain they need. Now, says the Chavetz Chaim, what's the halacha of somebody who lives in Eretz Yisrael who happens to be in Chutz Laaretz, or somebody who lives in Chutz Laaretz who happens to be in Eretz Yisrael. Says the Chavetz Chaim, Ben Eretz Yisrael, somebody who lives in Eretz Yisrael by Chutz Laaretz, who finds himself in Chutz Laaretz, let's say, between the seventh day of Cheshben and December 4th. So as a Ben Eretz Yisrael, you would think that there's a reason for him to start saying the same Talamata like they do in Eretz Yisrael. On the other hand, he's in Chutz Laaretz. Or let's say we have the other case. We have a Ben Chutz Laaretz, who normally starts saying the Saint Talmud of Racha the night the Mayor of December fourth, he finds himself in Eretz Yisrael on the ninth day of Mar Cheshvan. What does he do? Says the Chavetz Chaim. First, he brings down a halacha from the Prichadosh. If this person has plans that during this year he intends on going back to his home country, then Shail Kim Kaimai. Then he should follow the meaning of where he comes from. But if he's not going back until the end, until after the end of the year, then he should follow the meaning of the locale that he finds himself in. And this is true even if his family happens to be home. He still is not going to be shayel according to the meaning of his home country. He'll be shayel according to where he is. So the rule, Ken Kasev HaPrichadosh Ve'vi'ai Primagadim, this is the halacha that the Prichadosh writes, and it is brought by the Primagadim, which again, what is the rule that he's saying? It depends where you're going to be for the year. Look at it this way. You're being mispal in Shemayin Esrei, in Berchas Hashanim, the bracha that we are being mevakish from the Rabbeinu Shalalam, what the parnasa and the produce of this year should be. Well, where are you going to be? If you're going to be in Chutzlaretz for the year, so then you need the bracha that's applicable to Chutzlaretz. If you're going to be in Eretz Yisrael, then you need the bracha that's applicable to Eretz Yisrael. So base it on where you're planning to be for the rest of that year. However, brings down the Chavetz Chaim, Ubesef, Ferberke Yosef, Hiski Beshem, Kamagadolim, Ladas, Moreno, Rav Zrachia Gutya, Umareno, Rav Yaakov Malchai, Tachalechad Yishalke, Beneo, Ira Nimtzaba. They say that no, you just follow where you are. Udeloika Prichadosh Ayn Sham. Velachayim, Adivre, Eber Hetev, Mashma, Dehe, Maridafka, Bein Daita Lachzar. The Chavetz Chaim is concerned. He says from the Ber Hetev, it sounds like these sheetists only say what they say if you're not planning on going back. So in Eretz Yisrael, we start asking, we start being shoyal, Geshem, Maru going into day seven of Marcheshen, Ubedieved im Shal, Machzir and I say, if you fail to be shoyal Geshemim, if you neglect to say the same Talamot of Racha, if you say the same Bracha, you got to go back. And the Chavetz Chaim points out that in this way, the din of Mayriv 
when it comes to the same Talamot of Racha, is not the same as the Din of Mayrev when it comes to Yalav Yavai and Rishchidosh. The Halacha, we learned it when we learned Tilchus Rishchidosh. If you neglect to say Yalav Yavai Mayrev on Rishchidosh, you don't go back. But over here, for the same Talamot of Racha, you do go back. And the Chavaz Chaim explains because the rationale of one of the Halacha of Yalav Yavai has nothing to do with the Halacha of the same Talamot of Racha. The Sham Hatam, because by Yalav Yavai, the rationale is Mishum De'en Mekadosh and Achaydish Balayla. You can't be Mekadosh to Chaydish. Bezdin cannot be Mekadosh to Chaydish by night. So since Bezdin can't be Mekadosh to Chaydish by night, there's a Reyesa, there's like a weakness in the Halacha of Rosh Chaydish at night. So you don't go back for Yalav Yavah, you don't go back for Me'en Ura for Rosh Chaydish by night. Ken Kosav, Besefer Berke Yosef, Besefer Zechar La Avram, Mitzad and Shalom Lach Sub the Yevet, Ogedas Allah is Ketanus Chalik, Aleph Simonai and Gimel, Kamai Baskara and Chum, Ava Medivir Kamak Redim Shurisi Lamash. Okay. I just got in Zion. Ois Katon Zion. The Mechaber said, Vishayalin, and you continue to be Shayal Geshem until Mincha of Erev Pesach. Says the Chavetz Chaim, Kaloimar Vaad Bechlal. This means up to and including Mincha on Erev Pesach. Vein Chilak Papsika, Vein Eretz Yisrael, Chutz Laretz. When it comes to the date at which you stop saying the same Talamot of Racha, there is no difference between Eretz Yisrael, Chutz Laretz. The last Tfila. For the same Talmud of Racha, both in Eretz Yisrael and in Chutz Laretz, is Mincha on Erev Pesach. Sif Beis, four lines down in the Mechaber, <clears throat> in Simon Kuf Yod Zion, last word on the line. Yechidim Hatzrichim Lamatar Bimais Hachama. Let's say you happen to have a farmer who grows some kind of a crop that grows during the summer. So a tomato farmer. Tomatoes grow during the summer. So this fellow needs rain during the summer. Now during the summer, you must say, you don't say, you say, Talamot Levracha. But this fellow wants to be shown Geshem because he needs Geshem. Says the Mechaber, a yachid, an individual who needs rain during the um, summer season, he cannot say the same Talmud of Racha in the Bracha of Baruch Aleinu. Ella Tvila. He could daven for rain. He needs rain. He could ask the Rabbanu Shalom for rain, but he has to do that as a personal Tvila within the Bracha of Shemayat Tvila, not in the Bracha of Baruch Aleinu. Says the Mishnah is Kotn Ches Ein Shailon Oisad. Even though we're going to see later on in Simon Yud Kuf Yud Tesef Aleph, that Parnasa, an individual who's struggling with Parnasa, he could certainly be mispal for Parnasa, for his personal Parnasa in the Brach of Baruch Aleinu, Shani Parnasa, Shehu Dabar Atzarech Lakoil. Parnasa is different because everybody needs Parnasa. Vein by Hezek L'Shom Adam. And by me asking for parnasa, I'm not harming anybody else. But you can't go ask the same Talamot of Racha in Bircha Sashanim when nobody else needs rain. And not only that, rain might be harmful for them. So you can't incorporate it into the Bracha of Baruch Aleinu. You could say your own personal tefillah in Shemei Tefillah. Eyes cut and test for Shemei Tefillah. Venire, and it would seem, says the Chavetz Chaim, from the halacha that the Bechaber is saying, that if you require rain during the Yemais HaChama, during the summer, when rain is considered a klala for other people, you're allowed to ask for rain in Shemei Atvila. V'nira says the Chavetz Chaim, de l'fizeh, de cholshken sh'yesh l'adol l'shal matar b'Shemei Atvila akazayin marcheshven, oi ben pesach la'atzeres b'amakayim esetzvich l'kach. Certainly, if you live in an area that needs rain from the 7th of marcheshven, until day 60 after the beginning of Tkuvas Tishrei, that's a time when rain is not considered a klala. That's a time when in Eretz Yisrael they're even saying the same Talabal to Levracha. So if you live in a place that needs rain during that time, certainly the Tzibor could be Mavakish rain in Shemei Or between Pesach and Atzeres, 
which is another time when some places need rain. Even in the in Tkufas Tamas in the summer, when rain is considered a klala, the Chazal tell us that you're allowed to ask for rain in Shemei Tfilah. So certainly during these seasons, when rain is not a simon klala, it's just not a time that we typically ask for rain. Certainly if you want to be mavakish in Shemei Tfilah, you can of Taz, the Taz writes, This that we say that the Tzibur is allowed to be mispal for rain in Shemei Tfila, Hanukkah mispal in Balachash, that's only in the Shtilish by Nesrei. But the Shatz should not say it in the Chazar Sashatz, Afilu B'Shemei Tfila. Uminagenu Kayoim, our meaning nowadays, when there's a time, when there's a drought and we need rain, is that the Shliach Tzibur could say it in Chazar Sashatz in Shemei Tfila. Avalena Omer Vesein Talamata Lechud. But he doesn't only say Vesein Talamata Levracha. Ki im ba psukim u sha'ar l'shoinais. They would add psukim and other piyutim. Ukran nitfas besidurim. You could find this piyutim brought down in the sidurim. O bishabes for ishchidish for yomtav maskirin shloishas remidais. Of Omrim is married to Hillam Shalmatar Kid Isa Basidurim when you there is a time of Atsiras Kishamim. So even Shabbos Rishchidish Yomtiv, you could say Shloishes Remidis and different Kapitlach of Tehillim and different Piyutim to be Mispal for rain. Okay, I was going to go a little bit fighter, but I can't because my voice is going to give out. So, but Baruch Hashem, we got more than a page done and we're going to strive to catch up. Thank you so much for joining me, Philippa Natara. The schools of Lima Natar should be Megan against Klai Israel, the Rush from Shitsen, Yeshua Sephora's Panos and Shadukim, Tolos in need, and we should be Zaikh to see the BS Gal Sedek, Bemherev Yamenu Amen. Be well.